Automatic dimensions in Achikat is a game changer. Most people waste hours marking walls by hand, but you don't have to. Because once you master this, your plants dimension themselves. Let's do it right now. Once you're in Achikat, you're going to navigate to design, click on walls. Then on your keyboard, you're going to press Ctrl A. This enables you to select all your walls. Then navigate to documents. Move down to annotations, automatic dimensioning, exterior dimensions. There are four layers of dimensioning, automatic dimensioning. So we have the first line of dimensioning, which is the overall dimension, which is either the length or width of your drawing. We'll make sure that it's activated. The second type of dimensioning is the wall bend. So wherever your wall bends, you want to make sure you know that dimension, which is dimension external geometry. The third type is dimension structures, which actually dimensions your wall bends with the wall thickness included. We don't want to use that for this project, but if your project demands it, you should definitely use it. We are going to navigate to the foot, which is dimension openings. This includes the openings such as doors, windows in your project. We we'll use it for this case, so we are going to select it. Under dimension openings, there are actually two types. We have the opening center, which means that at the center of your opening is going to dimension it. We don't want that for this case. Um, the second one is opening endpoints, which actually dimensions the size of your openings, which is what we want for this project. Therefore, we are going to just move below to dimension walls by. There are two types. We have the outer outer face and the core face. For this situation, we'll choose the outer face because we just need the outer face. And um, this time between dimension line, between the layers of dimensioning, that's one, two, three, four. What is the spacing? So, Ajikar by default is 0 0.5, which is pretty good for me, but you can change it to suit whatsoever project you're doing. Some people use 0 0.7. So, um, just use what is suitable for your project, but 0 0.5 is cool for me. Then, make sure you select place dimension on four sides. It's very, very important. So, you can place dimension on all the four sides of your drawing. Once you're done, you're going to navigate to OK and give it a click. Well, once you give it a click, you are going to navigate to Achikat. You're just going to select a wall and draw a straight line to any point, whether you're drawing up or down. So preferably, I'll draw it to this side. And then you are going to see a hammer tool, which will show up. So double click on the hammer tool. Once you double click on the hammer tool, your dimension is just going to appear. And as you can see, this is the default dimension here in Achikat. So I don't like the default dimension, so I'm going to work on the dimension style. For example, these extension lines, I don't like them. You're going to navigate to documents, select dimensions, click Control A. Then double click on the dimension so it opens up the panel. On my dimension, I like to change the witness line. The witness line, I like to use the second one, which is size height. And uh, once I'm done with this, I'm just going to click OK. So as you can see, my dimensions are clean, clear, and professional the way I like. Some people equally don't like these slanted lines, especially people who are structural engineers. Okay, so if you don't like these slanted lines, you can also change them on your dimension style by just clicking on dimensions, then Control A on your keyboard to select all the dimensions. Double click and uh, you can choose the type of line. For example, you don't want these slanted lines here on a marker type. You can change it to whatsoever you like. Let's say, for example, you like this one. You are going to click OK and you discover that your dimension style has been automatically adjusted. Well, let's move a wall and see if the automatic dimension adjusts automatically while we design. So um, let's say we want to reduce this wall by 0 0.2 meters, which is 20 centimeters. So let's trim the wall extensions. You see that your dimension follows the wall. Therefore, your drawing stays alive. And guys, well, with precision and accuracy. What about internal dimensions? Let's find out. So to be able to do internal dimensions, we are going to navigate to design, click on walls. Then on our keyboard, we use Control A to select all the walls as we usually do. Navigate to documents, down to annotation, automatic dimensions, then interior dimensioning. So on the setting, you have two types. We have the column center and the column endpoints. So um, I like column endpoints. The column center means it's going to dimension to the axis line of the wall. 
while the colon endpoint means it's going to dimension into in of the room so that's exactly what i need so i'm going to use colon endpoints then on composite and profile elements we are going to use all skin right then we are going to click ok so now this is how it works you are going to choose the section which you want to dimension for example so let's say you draw a line from here to here double click then choose where you want to put the line let's say here so you notice that it automatically dimensions all the walls get rid of the wall thickness you can just select on the thickness and uh, get rid of it that's fine so let's say you want to do it this way you can repeat the same procedure by just navigating to document and you draw a line from here it's going to dimension the interior of this section and that's it guys well so stop dimensioning wall by wall let Achika do the work for you. You focus on design, it handles the details. With that said, build smart, draw better.